Hi, and welcome to Al Ginger Leaks. Tom here. So, we're going to make risotto. So, risotto is kind of a lengthy process. So, I'm going to show you a way of making it a start, it's making a make kind of a par cook ahead of time and then making a dish with it later on. So, let's get started. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need, um, I got three cups of raw abario rice here which is typically used to make a risotto. Then we've got teaspoons of thyme, sage, rosemary, parsley, and oregano. Uh, four, uh, four tablespoons of garlic, sorry, three tablespoons of garlic. We're gonna do some salt and pepper, some blanched broccoli, uh, some shredded carrots, and some celery and onions. So let's get started. We have some vegetable stock boiling away over here. We have a pan to cook our risotto in. First I'm going to get my pan hot. While I'm doing that, if you notice, I have a ladle in, in the veg stock. Move the veg stock over so it's easier accessible to the pan so I'm going to need to go back and forth with that as we get further on. So I'm going to take a good tablespoon of canola oil. I'm going to take it's about About a half cup of onions and a half cup of celery. Kind of get that going. And put the rest of that aside for later. I'm going to start with like a half teaspoon of salt, maybe like a quarter teaspoon of pepper. And we'll adjust that as we go along. I'm going to take one of my tablespoons of garlic, throw it right in there. So put the rest of that later. Kind of what I'm looking for here. I'm going to start sauteing these and I'm going to give these a taste to see if they're seasoned enough, which they tend to be. Now I'm just going to let this kind of go for a couple minutes. Bring out those juices and from that garlic, from the salt and pepper, from all the vegetables before I add in my rice. Again. Front door is open too if you want to go around. No, I just did Oh. Can you see all that liquid coming out? That's all that flavor coming out of these vegetables into a, into a central cohesive flavor. Now, I'm gonna take my risotto, or my boil rice, all that juice coat, all, all the rice. Kind of mix it right in there. So. Now that that's all coated, you know, let that saute for a second and start to let some of that starch come out of that rice. So what most people don't know 
is that risotto necessarily is not a rice in itself. Risotto is a rice cooking method. And that cooking method is used for very high starchy rices, like an abario rice. But truth be told, you can risotto a potato, anything that has a high starch content. There are actually three types of cooking a rice. There's the risotto method, which is what we're doing now. There's the pilaf method and the pasta method. So right now we're doing the risotto method. My favorite is the pilaf method. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start taking my vegetable stock. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. We want this to cook slowly. We want this to simmer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm only going to pot cook it here. And that's going to take some time. And then once it's done cooking to the point where it's tender but not fully cooked, and I'm going to pull it out. I'm going to cool it. And then from that point on, we can do anything that we want with it. Because the risotto takes a while to cook. As you'll see, just even the pot cooking, I'm going to have to keep adding stock to this until it gets to where I need it to be. And if I was to cook this all the way through, it would take roughly about a half an hour to 45 minutes, almost an hour, depending on how much risotto is in here. So, um, so this method, what you do here, you do this on a day when you don't have anything else going on, you want to like maybe prepare your prepare for the week or for the next day or the next couple of days. So that's kind of why I did three cups of a boil of rice. As you can see, this is starting to reduce. And we're going to have to try this as we go along. Just to see if um, you know, that texture is just too crunchy at the moment. Basically, you want it to be tender, where it's not chalky, but it's not fully cooked through. So see how that's reducing? So now we need to keep, that's why we're keeping this boil, this boiling here. Because as this reduces and it's not done yet, we're gonna have to add more stock to it. So, here we come with a couple more ladles of stock. And you can just keep doing this until until it's done. You could, from here, cook it all the way through. You could have built an entire risotto right in this pan. And again, you can see the, the it's starting to it's starting to reduce again. So we're gonna give this another try. See where we're at. We're almost there. Yeah, just a little bit longer. Until this liquid cooks out, we'll be ready to go. Just to make sure we're where we need to be. Yeah, a little bit more stock. Still a little too crunchy. Like I said, this is a very, very long process. And it's just trying to get all of that 
starch out of the risotto, out of the boiled rice into the risotto. So. It's also about getting that rice cooked just right because you don't want it hard, you don't want it crunchy, you don't want chalkiness in your mouth when you eat it. The more you cook it now, the less you have to cook it later. So. But you don't want to cook it too much because then it'll overcook. pan here so I'm going to transfer this into this pan so that we can let it cool. Let's let all this liquid come out. So technically in this particular process the way we're doing it today you necessarily don't have to put in salt and pepper and garlic because you're not finishing it off today. I prefer to put those in to add some flavor in the beginning as a base to what I'm going to do later on. Give it another try. Yeah, there we go. Take this and we just dump this right in here. Okay. So now our risotto is done. Kind of put some because this was as it cools, this will kind of hot in a little bit. Try to get some air in the bottom. Alright. I'm going to take this. And I'm going to put it on the fridge to let it cool. See that? That's just the base. Put it in the fridge. That's going to sit there for a little bit. That's going to get cold, and then after that, you could portion it into how many, how many, usually about a half cup per person. Take a half cup out, put them in little containers, put it, in the, put it in the cooler. Each time that you want to make something, you just pull out the amount that you need, and we'll get to that next. So, we've got risotto in the fridge cooling. But we're going to make risotto for dinner. So now it took enough for, for four people, which is a half cup a person. I have some herbs, I have the garlic, I have the salt pepper, I have my vegetables, I have my vegetable stock, I have some coconut milk, and I have some white wine to go to the next step of this. So I'm going to get my pan hot. Okay, we're going to add a couple tablespoons of canola oil to our pan, let that heat up. That got a half cup of celery and a half cup of onions, we're going to add in. cup of carrots, shredded carrots. Now I did dice the carrots, but I wanted a different look of the carrots inside of the risotto dish when we were doing. So, let me just start stamping that up a little bit. I'm going to add 
couple teaspoons of salt. Half a teaspoon of pepper. Use the stock. And we're going to put all of our garlic in. Next, two tablespoons. And we're going to let those vegetables saute a little bit. We're also going to add our, no, we're also going to add our, our, our broccoli. So there are broccoli in there. You can see that liquid starting to come out. So here's where you want to start to taste your product and see where you're at. So so far, we've got some decent flavor here. Make sure these carrots are being cooked a little bit. Nice. Now we're going to take in our risotto. We're going to put our risotto in here. We're going to mix this up together. And we'll incorporate all this together. some of that flavor from the bottom. You can use that pan a little bit. So that's all coming together. You got, you, you can see, you can see the broccoli, you can see the carrots, you can see the onions and the celery. Put this nice little vegetable risotto happening here. Start doing now, we're going to start adding some stock. So now we want to finish the rest of the cook that we originally did when we power cooked the risotto. So we're going to go back to that method again of adding stock to bring it to to bring it to being fully tender and fully cooked. And again, you're going to want to keep stirring because now you also got to cook those vegetables that are in there too. This is also when you want to start checking flavorings to see if you need to add more. Because everybody's safe buds are different. Get a little bit in there of everything. Take our herbs. I use fresh herbs because I like them better than dry herbs, especially since sometimes the dry herbs, the way they're processed, they could have stuff added to them. But what I really like about fresh herbs is as soon as you put them in, they release their oils and they release all their flavor right into whatever it is. It's not, it doesn't take time to come out. You can put them in right at the end if you want. Um, whereas dry herbs, one, you have to use less than you would a fresh herbs because of that flavor is concentrated into the dry herb. And you have to do it earlier in the process. You have to do it like at the beginning so that it has time to flavor 
the way it's supposed to flavor. But know that you can do either way. So in this particular case, I used a teaspoon of each herb. I used a teaspoon of thyme, sage, rosemary, oregano, and parsley. So you would use a third of a teaspoon if you were using dry. So we're going to try this again. And like I said, this is going to be a process. I'm not, I'm not disliking the flavor. And we're starting to get cooked here, so now what I'm going to do now is add one cup of coconut milk in here. I'm going to take that, I'm going to take, I'm going to put about half of that in there right now. Actually, I'm going to put the whole thing in. I just put coconut milk in here. And what you can see is, is added a creaminess to the risotto. Another try. So we're just going to let this cook down now because once all this, once all this liquid leaves, we're going to be done. And that's what I strive for. I strive to give. I try to give, try to give Caleb food that I would want to eat and that I'm able to eat, but in a way that he's able to eat it without having any reactions. This is, a, this is, we're just going to let this reduce down and then we'll be ready to go. See a little thickening up going on? Take one more taste here. We should be good. Vegetables are cooked through. Now we turn this off, and this will tighten up as it sits for a minute. Let's get ourselves a nice little bowl. So this could stand by itself. This could stand as a side dish. You get broccoli, you got your vegetables. You could also count as your vegetable and your starch for one meal. So let me know what you think. Hit me up in the comments. And remember, the food is good for everyone. Have a good day.